Today we'll be making Uncle Iroh's juke recipe, as seen in the What Uncle Iroh Eats in a Day video. We're going to need a fourth a cup of white rice, one teaspoon of better than bouillon no chicken base paste, three and a half cups of warm water, one teaspoon of minced ginger, a dash of toasted sesame oil, a dash of soy sauce, one teaspoon of high heat cooking oil, about one green onion, just the green part, one fourth a cup of chopped seitan, and one clove of garlic. Let's get started. First, we'll measure out one fourth cup of white rice. We'll bring that over to our sink and give it a good rinse under cool water, and then add it into a medium sized pot. We'll take one teaspoon of the vegan chicken stock paste and add it into a measuring cup. Into that measuring cup, we'll add two cups of warm water and mix in the paste until it all dissolves. Then we'll add the vegan chicken stock into our pot with the rice. And we'll measure out one and a half cups of warm water and add that to the pot as well. Once our rice, vegan chicken stock, and water are in the pot, we'll put it to boil over medium-high heat, covered. Once our juk is boiling, change it down to low heat, partially cover it, and simmer it for about one hour, stirring occasionally to make sure that the rice isn't sticking. Now let's start to prep our toppings. We'll chop the green part of our green onion into little pieces that we can sprinkle on the top of the juk at the end to add flavor. Now let's get out our fourth a cup of seitan and give it a rough chop into small, irregular sized pieces. We're going to stir fry the seitan, garlic, and ginger together. We'll add the chopped seitan into a small frying pan. Let's get out our garlic. I like to squish it with the side of the knife. It makes it a lot easier to peel off that skin. And we'll just mince it into small little pieces. The garlic will give a really nice flavor to our stir-fried seitan. Once the garlic is minced, let's add it into a small frying pan, along with one teaspoon of minced ginger or ginger paste, your choice. We'll also add one teaspoon of the high heat cooking oil. And let's add that to the stovetop to just have it ready to go. Okay, time to stir our joke again and see how it's doing. At this point, it should still be pretty watery and simmering, but once it gets closer and starts to thicken up, we're going to turn on our frying pan to get our seitan, garlic, and ginger nice and crispy. It should end up looking something like this. We'll stir the juk again, and once it reaches that nice thick consistency, we'll add it into a bowl and then add our toppings on top. Starting with the seitan, ginger, and garlic mixture, our chopped green onion, and then a dash of soy sauce, as well as toasted sesame oil, of course. And then you're ready to dig in. I hope you enjoy Uncle Iroh's juke. Thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. I hope you have a great day.